Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and a little while ago, I made a video called Official Pokemon Colors That Are Wrong, or don't make any sense. I actually don't remember the exact wording I used. If you didn't know, within the Pokedex, Pokemon have official color designations, like this Pokemon is this color. I went through all of the Pokemon that I had registered in home, which is like everything but Cubfu, and found a lot of examples of color designations that I thought were ridiculous, like Milotic being pink. But there's actually another more obscure dex categorization method that's in the games, that being the shape. What body shape does a Pokemon have? And these are all of them. They don't have official names, so I'm just gonna go through and give them ones. Today I'm gonna be doing the same thing I did in the colors video, going through all of the Pokemon in Pokemon Home, looking at their shape category, and trying to find ones that I think don't make sense. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because apparently 60% of my viewership comes from people who are not subscribed, which is a lot. Come on guys, subscribe to me, please. And let's dive in to official Pokemon shapes that don't make sense. So here we are in Pokemon Home. Uh, as I mentioned, I do have all of the Pokemon registered except Kabfu because I evolved it before I brought it into Pokemon Home. I'll get it eventually. I'm not worried about Kabfu's body type being miscategorized. Um, but here you, on the right side, you see the shapes. They don't have official names, they're just shapes. And so the first one we're gonna look at is uh, is Bean. Just, just Bean, not Beans, I'm calling it Bean, which I guess just means you don't have arms or legs. Because <laughs> this is not a round thing, but it doesn't have arms or legs. Cloister, another one. These, these three are very, very Bean. Yes, you are Bean. Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. It doesn't really grab anything with those, if those are arms. Okay, I guess, yeah, okay. It looks like Bean is just you don't have arms, you don't have legs, and you are not, <gasps> hell yeah. And you are not serpentine, it seems. You don't have arms? I thought those longer tassels at the bottom were like hands. I guess not, I guess it's just a front loaded dress. Okay, I don't think I agree with this one because Kumfei has arms. You can see it, it like it has the tail of flowers and then at the front it has arms, which I, I'm pretty sure the qualifications for this is that you cannot have any limbs. Cosmog, are those limbs or are those ears? I don't know about that one. Meltan has hands. Look at that, look, he's reaching. I don't, I don't know if I agree with Meltan being here. I don't know if I agree with this. You have, oh, you have one arm. Poltegeist has met multiple arms. I know it morphs, but it has arms and legs. I do not agree with calling this one a bean. You have arms too. There's there's a there's a category for just having arms. Why are you in here? I'm glad there are ones that didn't make sense. I didn't do any research to see if there like actually were ones that didn't make sense before doing this, and I'm glad I've already found several. <laughs> Our next category is walkie boy. No arms, but legs. But legs. <laughs> but is legs, isn't that like a Hank Green thing? So far, so good. Strong start here. Looks just like the emblem, honestly. Poliwag as well. All right, all right. You got legs, you don't have arms. You got legs, you don't have arms. You got legs. You don't got arms, you got legs. You don't got arms, you're a walkie boy. You're a walkie boy if you got legs, but you don't, you, Oh, it does have legs, okay, that's right. I was like, you don't have legs? And then I remember when it lands on the ground, it does. Do better. Multiple legs, but you don't got arms. You got wheels, but you don't got arms. What is going on with its mouth in this picture? It looks like someone did one of those, like, like remember Mulan where, where the like mean teacher lady gets the ink on her fingers and goes like, hmm. She like draws a beard on herself. It looks like Carcoal did that. <laughs> mm, it got legs, but it also got arms. It's not a walkie boy, because it also got arms. I don't like this. Okay, yeah, that, fair enough. Yeah, those aren't, those aren't, I mean, they're kind of arms, but they're not really u useful for anything. So this one's fine. Our next category is aquatic creature. And by that, that's actually, no, I was trying to think of a clever alternative to fish, um, but no, these are just fish. You're not really a fish. But I also don't know all of the other categories, so I guess 
I might let these ones slide, because, I mean, they got fins, but they don't got arms or legs. They swim. They don't got arms. Fish, fish, fish. Okay. I think we need to just... Okay. Clearly, this category is not fish. It's drawn like a fish, but this category is intended to be the only limbs these things have are fins. <laughs> so with that definition, these are all making sense. I'm not seeing anything with arms or legs, just fins. Why are you two here? Where is Walrein? Walrein's got the same limbs you do, basically. We'll have to see where Walrein shows up. You don't have any limbs, but you're certainly a fish. Okay, I, I'm not having any any kind of pro- Were you in more than one category? I swear I saw you in the bean category. You have arms. You have arms. Do you have fins? Yes, you have arms. You should not be here. I don't agree with it. Electros being here. Does it have Ella fish in its name? Yes. Okay, it does have fish in its category. Okay. This one's a maybe. Okay, more seal, sea lion. Pokemon, Pinniped, I believe is the technical term. More fish, okay. Now we're moving on from fish boys to uh, wormy boys. Wor wormy boys, it's not really right, it's, they're, they're not worms. They have multiple legs, so. Hungry, hungry caterpillars. <laughs> Caterpillar. Okay, it seems like this category is intended to be Pokemon with many legs. You only have four. Well, maybe you have more. Your face is also kind of a leg. I guess this is fine. What? Okay, you do have, okay, that's that's right. You got four legs on the bottom, two legs on the front. Well, we'll let you slide. Okay, so this cat, you have four legs. All right, this is bugs and Pokemon with more than four legs, it seems. Because several of these Pokemon do only have four legs, like Ninkata here, but it's also clearly a bug. Legs for days? Anorith is kind of a weird one, because it's based on such a weird creature. Are the things on the side legs? I always thought they were more like fins. It does have legs. It is clearly a bug though. And I'm just now learning this is the old shrimp Pokemon, which is a very funny thing to call it rather than just the animal Ocaris, the creature it's based on. Just like, nope, it's just old shrimp. It's shrimp you forgot to cook and now it smells bad multiple bugs and or bug adjacent Pokemon. Looks like a lot of arthropods, like crab type Pokemon are in here too. Strange that these two are here and Chargebug is not. I wonder where Chargebug's gonna be, because it wasn't in bean category. These two are here, but Orbeetle is not. That's odd. All right, the next category is good boys. It's dogs. Dogs and or by what I'm seeing over here, uh, four-legged creatures. <laughs> I think this might be the biggest category we've looked at so far. A lot of gen, a lot, lot of Pokemon. Looks like 168, this may not be the, okay, yeah, I guess. <sighs> Pikachu is in here too. Raichu wasn't though? See, that's weird. Pikachu and Pichu and Raichu, we see them on just their two legs most of the time, but we have seen them run on all fours. What I'm confused as to why just Pichu and Pikachu are doing here, but Raichu isn't. That's odd to me. I guess you guys do have four legs hiding under all that fur, hiding under all that pile of swine. So I guess that that makes sense there. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of four-legged creatures. I guess Swampert gets upgraded to bipedal, so that's why it's not here. Wait, it's like, it depends on the Swampert art, you know? Swampert, it's like half the art you see it on its hind legs, half the art you see it on all fours. It does both, so it can go in both. Ah, uh, here's Walrein. Oh, wow, I am just now realizing how much its back fins actually look like feet. I never realized that before. I thought they were just flop, flopped out fins like the other ones. Okay, I can accept this. I've learned something new today. How incredibly exciting. Another one that's like, I don't, uh, eh, I feel like you're really on your hind legs most of the time. You too. You definitely. I don't agree with these three. I think these should have been in whatever the bipedal category is. Cause like, look at Glamiao, clearly on all fours all the time. Stunky, on all fours all the time. Bastiodon, on all fours all of the time. But these three are on just two legs most of the time. 
My god, there are so many Pokemon in the... What? You're here in the four-legged category while, like, Celio is in the fish category? Why aren't you in the fish? Lapras! Lapras is the same thing! It's got four fins! This... Either Lapras needs to be here, or Tortuga needs to be in the fish boy category. Like, good dogs. No. Tortuga is not a good dog. It's a good... Togue. Uh, well, that makes it just sound like a... A Roman garment. Okay, yeah, these are yeah, more I don't agree with. You are, I've never seen you on all fours. Literally never seen any of, either of these Pokemon on all fours. To be fair, I don't see these Pokemon very often at all, but certainly not quadruped. You either, are, are all the Pikachu clones here? No, Plusle and Minon weren't. Why are some of the Pikachu clones here, but others not? That's so confusing. Okay, yeah, this is, this is, this is just wrong. Like, Gumshoes is a strictly Bipedal Pokemon. Does it ever go onto its front legs? Like this, this is just flat out wrong. This is, this is not a four-legged Pokemon. It is a two-legged, two-armed Pokemon. You too. Well, I mean, it goes down onto all fours when it like attacks, but most of the time it's, it's up like that. Sobble too. I feel like it sobbles mostly on its hind legs. Man, they inserted a lot of Pokemon that stand on two legs into this four-legged category. I mean, most of it was correct, but lots of, lots of Pokemon, I think, should not have been here. Here is our next category, flying hamsters. All right, so this category, it just looks like bugs with wings. You're not a bug, but you're close enough. So basically, if it has wings and it's, you have wings? Oh yeah, those, those things are wings, I guess. But I can't fly, but it, they do exist. There are bugs that have wings that can't fly with them, like grasshoppers, I wanna say. Not, don't quote me on that. Okay, yeah, so this is... All right. Feel like... I mean, okay, you do have a lot of, you do have a lot of wings. You got more wings, you got as many wings as a bug, so I guess we'll let this one slide. But yeah, this one is just wing, 99% winged bugs. Ooh, we, we had bean, but now we truly have beans. Welcome beans, everyone. Which just looks like multi-headed individuals. Multi-faced Pokemon, I guess. Except you. What? Like, I know Metagross is supposed to be like two Metangs, but they, they just say that. Like, it doesn't actually look like that. This, I feel like this should have just been in like the quadruped category. Alternatively, like, like the dog category, but alternatively, like, the blobs with legs category. You don't have, like everything else here, yeah, you have the thing, those things detach and float. So like, that's fine. Your other one does a, wait, oh my God, I can't, I just made this discovery. I have just unearthed something no other Pokemon player has ever noticed before. The bigger part of Clang and Cling Clang has a face. I can't believe I never noticed this before. Actually, yes I can, it's extremely subtle, but look, like, the original, like, first clink part, it's got one normal eye, an X eye, and an O mouth. At least that's how I've always perceived it. The clang has the one clink part, but then the center has a square eye, a circle eye, and a, like a carrot. I don't, I don't, what is that term? Like a greater than or equal sign. But the up one, uh, it's got that too. And clink clang, like you can't really see the, the carrot. Uh, that's like what they called it in school for me. I don't know why it's, it doesn't look like a carrot. It looks like an L. But anyways, you can't see it here because of the bottom gear, but these two have faces. They still have their two faces. One of them just becomes a lot less noticeable. My mind is blown. Wow, shout out to the beans category for expanding my knowledge of Pokemon. Yes, all of these Pokemon involved multiple parts, multiple faces, Except Metagross. No part of your body, like there's no new face. None of your body detaches like Probopass. Like I really don't think Metagross should be here. I know it's supposedly a combination of multiple Metangs, but like 
that would be if they're just kind of tacked on there. Like this is clearly a new being. But my God, I can't get over this this clang and cling clang discovery. Dude, should I get, can I get like a pokey Nobel prize or something? Cause I feel like I deserve it. All right, tentacle, gentlemen, which we will call tentlemen. Tentlemen with tentacles, indeed. Look at the fun, tentlemen, what? You don't have tentacles? You have amorphous shadow wings and six legs. If anything, you should have been in the, the caterpillar category, or cater, the caterpillar gory. <laughs> I'm having fun with words today. You too, these are not tentacles. Everything else clearly has tentacles. You just have three legs and you have four legs. Like what? What is it with the, you're just like Metagross. <laughs> you're, you're, you have the same body type as Metagross. Why are you with the tentacles? No, these are tentlemen. You are not tentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. You know, look at all those legs. Gentlemen, I don't know if you have, oh well. To be fair, I don't know what the underside looks like. So I can't really judge this one, but gentlemen, weird legs kind of look like tentacles. So therefore, gentlemen. You should have been in the, the caterpillar category. These aren't tentacles. They're just a lot of legs. That's strange. These ones I don't agree with either. But anyways, gentlemen, gentlemen. And I guess, the, Points count as tentacles? I don't really know sea urchin anatomy. Ah, time for our next category, Wobbuffets. <laughs> what is this supposed to be? These are, are these creatures with no arms or legs, but they're too oblong to be considered, you guys, you guys aren't gentlemen? This is a strange category. I mean, there's Wobbuffet, so it's got that going for it. But how would you even describe this category? Tentlemen, these are tentlemen. What is this category? How, this is so varied. <laughs> is this just the Wobbuffet category where they put the Pokemon they weren't sure where to put elsewhere? What is this? You got Pokemon with arms, but no legs. You got Pokemon with four arms, but no legs. You've got Pokemon with four legs, yet multiple tentacles. You've got legs and arms. You're just covered in tentacles. I am flabbergasted by this Wabafet category. You're just a sword. You're a sword with arms. You're a gentleman. I am, you're a gentleman. Why are you here in Toxapex? Why aren't you in Toxapex? Is this, what? is going on. The best I can gather is that they don't, no, I was gonna say they could, they have to have arms, but an indistinct lower half. But like, if you look at like, like yeah, arms, indistinct lower half, you don't have arms. You have arms and an indistinct lower half. You don't have arms, I guess, I guess it's just, indistinct lower half? Like the lower half is like not normal anatomy. It's either like split into a few weird legs that aren't necessarily clearly legs and they can't have arms, but they don't have to. I think that's the best I've got here. Yeah, just like the top parts, whatever. The bottom part is either a lack of legs or weird legs. This is the dumbest category we've seen so far, but now we can move on to dinosaurs, I guess. You have arms? The Pokemon I'm looking at have arms. Okay. So this is, uh, this is bipedal Pokemon, it seems, that aren't, because if we look at this, bipedal, but dinosaur-like, versus bipedal, much more human-like. So that's what this looks like. Pokemon that walk on two legs, but aren't, necessarily shaped like a person. Hey, so in the original recording for this video, I spend the next several minutes extremely confused as I go through the dinosaur and the person categories because I couldn't figure out what was going on. It seemed as if they flipped a coin to decide which bipedal Pokemon was in one or the other, for example, Abracadabra and Machop were in the dinosaur category, but Alakazam, Machoke, and Machamp were in the person category. I was just super confused and it made absolutely no sense. And I went on being 
just super confused for the next several minutes. But then while editing, my wonderful editor, Katie, pointed out simply that the dinosaur category is bipedal with a tail, and the person category is bipedal without a tail. So therefore, my next several minutes of confusion, basically all of it is just explained by that distinction. So I decided to have this explanation put in there rather than eight minutes of me being confused about something that is explained with a simple sentence. However, I blame my confusion on Game Freak for having the symbols for these shapes not just be the same person guy twice, but one is a person guy with a tail. So we're just gonna move on to after these two categories. Well, now we get to move on to flying hamster, but with dragon wings. <laughs> so here's the category, Pokemon with bug-like wings, Pokemon with dragon and or bird-like wings. So we're gonna see a lot of birds, a lot of dragons as well. Interesting that you are here. Just notice this right away. You guys are here, which I agree with. But Crobat is in the bug wing category. Where'd you go? Despite having like the same wings. What is this? Anyways, let's move through this. A lot of birds. We're gonna see a lot of birds, a lot of dinosaurs. What? Why? What? You don't have, you have wings that are bug wings. <laughs> Why are you here and not in either the caterpillar or the bug winged category? This is ridiculous. Boogie gets to be here. Does have wings, those are wings. They're very hand-like wings, but they are wings, so we'll let it slide. Wait a second, where is Salamence? Was Salamence in the quadruped category and I just skipped over it? I guess I'm fine with that. Gliscor, my boy, looking good, yeah? A uh, lot of lot of winged creatures, bird and or bird and or dragon wings. This category was better. The, the lady bond lady in being here was weird, but okay, yeah, I guess you you have wings. You do? I thought you just floated. And so I thought the wings were bug wings. There's another bug. Why are they putting ladybugs in the dragon and burb category? I'm offended on a deep personal level. Those are not wings. You're a tentacle boy, a tentleman. Ah, okay, these are wormy boys. You know how earlier I was like, this is a wormy boy? No, no, no. I took it back, cause here, here are the wormy boys. Let's look at the wormy boys. Wormy, 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 worm, worm, wormy enough. Worm? Well, I guess I allowed Metapod and Kakuna, so yeah, you can stay. But yes, generally, you have legs. Anyway, it's fine. Serpentine Pokemon, you have arms. You're a duck, not a worm. Get out of here. This category only accepts wormy boys. What are you doing here? You have arms. One of them is very large. You have arms, but they are small. They're very small. So we'll allow you to be a wormy boy. Charge bug gets to be a wormy boy. I can accept this. I guess if it's a cocoon-like thing, it's a wormy boy, so. It's fine, Charger Bug can stay. You are not wormy boys. You are globulous creatures. Like you should be in like the same category as Diglett, not freaking Dragonair. You are, I guess, I guess, I, <laughs> what? Okay, okay, to be fair, Mimikyu is hard to define because we don't know what it looks like under its costume. But I still feel like it shouldn't have been in the serpentine category. <clears throat> Excuse me, wormy boys. This one, okay, yeah, this one can be a wormy boy. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, there, there were some non-wormy boys here. You are not a wormy boy. You are not a wormy boy. You are probably not a wormy boy, but we can't say for sure. Our final category is Geodudes. Yes, we're going to look at Geodudes. Okay. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna look at Geodudes, and I had my screen like this, and I was like, Geodude is not in the Geodude category, but then I realized I just had to scroll up, so it's fine. Geodude, starting off the Geodude category. Arms, but no legs. I guess magnets are arms. Yes, yes, arms, but no legs. These are making sense to me so far. Chimeco, you're dumb. 
arms, but yes, yes, I can accept this. I am not personally offended by anything I have seen in this category so far. You have arms? Do the leaves count as arms? I will. You're fine. Arms, but no legs. I mean, you do have legs that just doesn't use the legs, so we'll let this one slide. We'll let the blob baby slide. Arms, but no legs. Arms, but no legs. Yes, yes, you're slaying. Keep up the good work. Geodude category, yes. Yes, you don't really have legs. You have a mermaid tail, honestly. Mermaid tail with extra fins, so that's fine. Arms, no legs. Arms, no legs. Arms, no legs. Yes, let's go. You kind of have legs, but you probably don't use them. You know what, we're, we're gonna allow it. We're gonna keep the record clean. All right, well, that is all the shaped categories. And as you saw, there was a lot of weird stuff. Particularly, like, why the hell is Palisand a snake? <laughs> no idea what's going on there. And of course, these two categories, the person category and the dinosaur category, absolute messes. The Wob Effect category is very indistinct. There's several Pokemon in here that I felt like could have gone into the arms but no legs category. Like, how many Pokemon in here I would fit in the arms but no legs category? You would, you, you, basically, you, you would. You could be a Tentleman or arms but no legs. You have legs, but you don't really use them. I mean, you kind of use them. Maybe not you, but like, like there's so many Pokemon here that would make sense in the arms but no legs category. I would argue like half of these at least. So this category is an absolute mess. Don't even really know why it exists. Tentacleman had a couple Pokemon with with no tentacles like Gigalith. Why is Gigalith a Tentacleman? Tentleman, excuse me. This category was wonderful. I enjoyed multiple phases except Metagross being here. Bug wings, yes, this category had a lot of bipedal Pokemon, a lot of bipedal Pokemon. This one was pretty much fine. This one, the Lapras situation was weird. The Lapras Tortuga situation was weird. Legs but no arms. And the beans. Yeah, so as I anticipated, these obscure Pokedex categories, color and shape that are so much more subjective than uh, like height and weight and type uh, are absolute messes. <laughs> and I guess they're just still around for us to laugh at and make fun of. Thank you guys so much for watching and an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you wanna help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. Also, I believe at the time this video is going up, MML merch is still available, so if you wanna pick that up, a link will be on the screen and in the description below. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, give hands. Gotta catch them all.